Hello, Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity, and today we're going to talk about something you can do for your blood vessels that is very good for them. And there's lots of things you can do, but this particular study looked at one particular, uh, they use it as a supplement, but it's something you can do every day that's good for your blood vessels. And they looked at something called flow-mediated dilation, which is a very easy way to look for how healthy your blood vessels are. So basically, when we put a clamp on your hand and then we let that go, your blood vessels should respond appropriately. And the better your flow-mediated dilation, the healthier your blood vessels are. So we've seen studies where uh, improvements in flow-mediated dilation leads to lower rates of heart attacks, strokes, migraines, it plays a role in everything because your blood vessels feed everything. So the healthier they are, the healthier every organ is. And we've known for a long time that polyphenols, which are these different plant-based protective compounds in foods, uh, or nature I should say, are very good for your blood vessels. These include darker berries, coffee, tea, dark chocolate, not the milk chocolate crap, um, and so this particular study looked at green tea coffee extract, and specifically they looked at a compound in there called chlorogenic acid. Uh, chlorogenic acid. And this is one of the more potent antioxidants found in coffee. Now keep in mind that tea or caffeine also has its own protective compounds. So in this particular study, they used decaffeinated green tea extract in three different strengths, basically a 300, 600, 900-ish versus a placebo control to see how well it affected flow mediated dilation. A smaller study it looked at 18 people in between 45 and 65 years of age, and they already had lower blood vessel health as measured by flow mediated dilation. So these were people that needed help, and they looked to see how much the uh, chlorogenic acid actually helped with their flow immediate dilation, and it turned out that it happened relatively quickly. So um, the, uh, they, they measured it, uh, what, eight and a half hours, 10 hours, and 24 hours afterwards, and very quickly, these green tea, decaffeinated green tea extract improved the health of the blood vessels. That means that these have the potential to improve blood pressure, improve heart attack rates, stroke rates, migraines. Anything that's good for your blood vessels is going to be good for your overall health. That also means dark berries. I'm generally not a fan of fruits, but dark berries are a different story. Um, and coffee and tea, I'm a huge advocate of tea. We drink a tremendous amount of tea in our household. Um, unsweetened, organic when possible, flavored teas, green tea, uh, green, black, white, whatever we can find. We go through so much of it, it doesn't really matter. And uh, something else I want to add. Oh, as far as coffee goes, so drinking coffee would get you the same benefits. The levels aren't going to be quite as high, but it's something you can do every single day that is good for your blood vessels. And that's very consistent with everything we've seen in studies on coffee being good for you. It's all the crap we put in it that destroys it from there. So the more sugar you put in there, the more dairy you put in there, it's going to be a problem. So your 900 calorie Starbucks Trenta size that needs its own set of wheels to get out of the store is not going to be good for your health versus a double shot of espresso. So uh, consider that. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.